So I thought that I was doing the right thing. Slip, slop, slap, right. My 50 plus was my go-to for battling the good old Aussie sun. But then Choice dropped a real bombshell. Choice tested 20 popular sunscreen brands and a significant 16 of which didn't meet their advertised SPF claims. Some coming in as low as SPF 4 and SPF 5. So what does that mean for everyday consumers? Are we actually getting the protection that we think that we are? It's incredibly confusing, especially when relying on these ratings to stay safe from skin cancer. Now it's important not to throw baby out with bathwater. Any sunscreen is better than no sunscreen. But this choice testing highlights the critical point for consumer confidence and protection. Many of us aren't using enough sunscreen. Now the whole testing requirements have been a topic of debate since these findings were released. And we need greater transparency across the board here. The key takeaways for the consumer, don't stop using sunscreen, but be savvy about your application apply diligently and definitely take a look at the full choice test results to see how your preferred brand performed.